When you are a beginner in electronics, you often don't know uh, where to start or where to end. And this video will give perhaps a little bit insight in the so-called hand effect and how you can use that effect when you test electronics. I've made a very simple oscillator, square wave oscillator. It's also in my book, this book. Available on the Lulu website, page 91. Here I have published that circuit. And I have to say that in this case it worked only on 10 volts. That's not normal for a 7400 chip, but anyway, you see how it was made in the past. Um, the circuit again, and these capacitors, CX and CI, in combination with the resistor set the frequency. It has all to do with the RC time. The capacitor is charged and discharged in a certain frequency. Um, so here is the circuit in real on the demo board. Here is the 4 and 7 cap. Here the 0 0.1 uh, microfarad cap. And you can hear the frequency. You can also see the frequency. But what is interesting about the hand effect? Well, I'm going to move now with my hand over this chip. And you can hear immediately that things are happening. Here you hear the frequency go down. Also visible on the scope. Not very well, but in another mode from the scope it's clearly visible. And that tells you that when you make such a circuit and connect here for instance a resistor, the frequency will also go down. Also, when you make your hands a little bit wet and touch the cap, your hand acts as a resistor and uh, the RC time changes. Also, the frequency changes immediately. So, when you need a certain application, when you want to, for instance, um, change the frequency in a certain pattern, you can connect here a transistor over uh, the cap with the emitter and the collector, or reversed, you have to test it out. When you touch the base, you will immediately, immediately hear the frequency change. Because the resistor gets into conduction, it shortcuts the cap and the frequency changes. And when the oscillator stops, uh, take a resistor first in the lead from the collector to the emitter. And then uh, the RC time uh, is also good and the oscillator doesn't stop. Of course, when you, when you um, shortcut the cap, the whole thing doesn't work. That's clear. And I've made, for instance, here a very small adaptation on the basis from the hand effect uh, transistor. I've done that here. I found that when I touch pin 5 and 6, the frequency goes up. So I connected here a uh, transistor. And when I touch the base, we can see and hear what happens. Here is that transistor. That also means... That also means that when you want to make a circuit in which you want to modulate a frequency, this is a way to do it. And these, all these effects can easily be found out by using your hand as a capacitor and as a resistor from a certain value. When you make your fingers wet, the resistance is between 3K and 10K, when your fingers are dry, it's between, say, 50K and 500K. So, um, you can use the hand effect. Hand effect is also uh, a problem in radio circuits, but you can also use it to test a circuit. Make adaptations and make it a search for the sensitive points. Um, where the effects occur that you want or need. 
want to demonstrate now what happens when we erase the value from the cap to a high value. Of course, the frequency goes down. I've now changed this cap also into a 100 nanofarad cap. And let's see what happens when we try to modulate it with that transistor. You can see that frequency changes somewhat. It also means that when you add here other another frequency, you will get interference and perhaps strange sound effects. When you need strange sound, sound effects, this is a good way to do it. Make an oscillator, change the RC time uh, randomly or not randomly. So there are a lot of uh, possibilities to do by using your hand as a variable resistor, a variable capacitor and make the circuit work the way you want. And that's very good as a beginner's test. You um, start to um, understand how the, the, the different capacitors, how the different components work, especially uh, visible in oscillators.